Hi, this is Jenny with Simply Beautiful Crafts on behalf of Expert Village. And today I'm going to show you a wreath that I made for our very dramatic daughter who's majoring in drama and theater. What you want to do for this wreath is to take your ribbon. I chose black velvet because, you know, drama and dramatic, it just seemed to fit. Wrap your ribbon once and a half to once and a fourth around your wreath and you'll know how much you need. Then you want to put your ribbon through your wreath starting from the back, going over a joint, in and out as you go along. This particular ribbon being velvet has two sides, so you want to always make sure that your velvet side is up or your smooth side, whatever you're choosing to do. Making sure that you have exactly what you want as you go because if you have a twist in it and then you glue it down when you take the glue off, you will destroy the surface. Once you've gone all the way around your wreath, you want to draw a bead of glue right in here Press it down, let it cool, clip it off, and put the other end there. At that same time, you might want to make a ribbon, or a bow, I mean, from your ribbon, to put it either the bottom or the top of your wreath, and then also one that will allow you to hang your wreath when you're finished with it. For this wreath, I found these wonderful little stars. I also got a bag of these little paper stars. You can find those in, in your discount store, your craft store. And then I found stickers that said New York. I also, in the stamping section of the store, I found charms, which is where I got the drama. You can even go online and put in theater and drama, and a lot of things will come up that you can print offline. Once you know what you want to put on your piece, you lay it on exactly where you want it before you glue it on, and then take your hot glue gun and glue it on. In order to make this very dramatic, I took a clear piece of plastic and fixed this star to the clear piece of plastic and then fix the plastic to the back. And again, when you put it down, you want to not only put glue underneath it, but across it, making a bridge to hold it on. I also sprinkled a little bit of glitter on the New York and just kind of sprinkled it around. So there's just a tad of glitter on it as well. So I hope you enjoy making a dramatic wreath for that very dramatic person in your life. 